One, two, three, clap. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh man. Those are the days. Those are the days. We were learning. We were definitely learning. It was a process. It's so weird because like... You're not really supposed to line up the clap, so to say. You're supposed to line up the clap with... Um, with your headphone. Because the way online chanting works like there's a there's a slight delay on everything so that's why yeah. if you just line up the claps as is it just sounds like we're talking over each other at times i mean that's the thing right we're supposed to <laughs> yeah and then so that's why uh when i do my clap right i line up everyone else's clap with the sound that comes out of my headphone to my microphone so like it's it's pretty weird, but it works. It worked. Just because the way delayed works and stuff like that. Anyway, well that's a bit of a trivia. I guess I guess we can just go right into this episode, which I believe this is two ten. By the way, welcome back everyone. Hope everyone has had a good week. Uh definitely this round of news is definitely one of the uh random bits and stuff like that definitely a mixed bag so to say uh there's some bad stuff good stuff and somewhere in between i guess depending on how you look at things so uh but anyways welcome to the hype cast of course with yours truly as always sean aka hawk five to five with my cohort as always zawa or zawada re so hi <sighs> so yeah um, like I said, we do have quite a mixed bag, uh, quite a bit in the, uh, anime news and streaming series type of news. So we'll, uh, have fun with that part too. Uh, we have one little thing to talk about fighting games. So I'll just go right into it. Black balls. I mean, Boba. Yeah. Speaking of black, Black Adam. <laughs> black Adam. <Whoa>. <laughs> <laughs> black Adam, as you may have seen uh, quite a bit because of the movie and stuff like that. I it's been pretty performing pretty good. Unfortunately, I was spoiled on the ending sort uh, end credits scene thing because it was so big that people were talking about it. So it's like it's kind of unavoidable. So I'm not going to say, of course. Just for the sake of it, but I um, I pretty much know what's going on, unfortunately. But, hey, oh, it is what it is. I mean, I would have been spoiled either way, because not only people were talking about it, the news, right? The news media were talking about it. So it's like, okay, well, what can you do? Anyway, Black Adam is indeed in multiverses. That's nothing new. But the voice actor has been revealed, which is Bob Carter. Bob Carter is a veteran voice actor within the English industry. Uh, The one that can... I can name right on top of my head is Bojack from Dragon Ball, the Dragon Ball movie. And then, of course, uh, Aokiji slash Kuzan from One Piece. Those are the two I can definitely name right away. So, uh, anything you can name right on top of your head, Zawa, when it comes to Bob Carter? Bower Oh, Bower From Street Fighter. <laughs> oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Uh, did he voice him in Street Fighter 5? 4. 4. And 5, yes. Okay, okay. And for all you Mortal Kombat people, uh, you Shao Kahn and Baraka, 2011's Mortal Kombat. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Got it. So, with that saying, if he doesn't say fart or finish him, I'd oh, be very yeah. disappointed. Like, just to sneak it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, yep. Uh, Bob Carter is indeed Black Adam, so that's pretty cool. Uh, night, uh, good uh, voice actor, I would say, for uh, for his craft and stuff like that, for what it, for, for his uh, his roles are. So, I say pretty good fit. Uh, but I mean, then again, we we I would like to hear Black Adam in the multiverse, so. We'll, Still have yet to hear that, I think. Anyway, uh, Bob Carter is, uh, I would say, a nice pick, though, just from the surface level, anyway. So, so that's that pretty much for that um, section, Finding Games. There's not been go much going on with Finding Games. It's been a dry sort of season for right now. 
we haven't even yet to hear anything from Guilty Gears, like, you know, new character lineup or anything like that. Um, because I think there's supposed to be one more f here in this in this year. I think I could be mis um recalling incorrectly, I guess. But there is going to be something for 2023 for, sh for sure, like early 2023 for sure. But I don't know if there's like one. I don't know if they'll sneak in one more before when it looks like maybe not. But uh, it's been a while since I've last looked at that uh roadmap. So hmm. anyway. We'll have to wait, either way. Uh, so anyway, this is an image um, from or retaining to the Bayonetta 3 situation. Uh, there's an up there has been an update, uh, like pretty much like right after we uh, talked about it. So that's why this seems to be pretty old, quote unquote. But um, it is what it is. It's a, that's what happens. So anyway, uh, Platinum Games put out this statement in an image on Twitter. So this is it. Um, I guess I'll read it. So it says, We at Plat Platinum Games offer our uh, sincerest appreciation to everyone who has contri uh, contributed to creating the Bayonetta series over the years, as well as the community that has served its uh, served as its foundation. We give our full support to Jennifer Hale as the new Bayonetta in line with everything in her statement. We ask people to re please refrain from any further comments that would that would disrespect Jennifer or any of the other contributors or contributors to the series. So uh, that is pretty much it. Not going over you know any like intricate detail or anything like that. Of course, um, it's just saying hey we we support Jennifer Hale and everyone else who you know obviously who helped develop. Then, uh, of course, along the way, and then, of course, the fans, right? I mean, um, fans who made it happen pretty much over the years. Uh, there was that, and then, yeah, have any comment on the, about this part, or? I'm trying to, like, just go, like, okay. Right, right. Thank you. Let's move on. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, uh, there's also have been a developing sort of story, I guess, on Taylor's side. And uh, pretty much, and this is coming from her thread and stuff like that directly. Um, not, I don't know I'm going to read the whole thing, but uh, I do want to highlight some quotes here. And pretty much... Um, yeah, I mean, obviously, she she is seeing like the comments about like be, being called a liar, and I I guess don't gold digger. I hadn't seen that, but okay, I guess. But um, part two of the thread, she uh, omitted, or yeah, it seems like she omitted some details in her first video because she flat out said, and no pen intended, but she flat out said that the that the that the whole game had a flat rate of $4,000. That was that was the quote, right? I mean, I, I don't think I'm crazy or I don't think anyone else is crazy. That's what she directly said in that first part of that video. But then here, she then now says that offer was $10,000 total. Remember, this is a 40, and she still says this again, the $450 million franchise, not counting merchandise. Then I wrote, uh, in Japanese, he did get Kamiya asking what I was worth, blah, blah, blah. And then she was then offered an extra $5,000. There's a typo there, but it's $5,000, I'm pretty sure. Um, and then I guess she just declined it. Um, heard nothing from them for 11 months. And then they offered the, <clears throat> the flat rate of $4,000 for a cameo of sorts. Um... Because they already like replaced her because you know they wanted they they needed to get on with the game's development so they got Jennifer Hale at the time I believe somewhere in between but they still wanted to have Taylor in the mix because hey I mean of course she well was Bayonetta right so she you know made that character essentially um, come to life so I mean I guess they may not uh, went out their way to at least give her a cameo of sorts. For five thousand dollars, um, but then insisted that 
the five sessions of four thousand dollars each are total fabrications that was the ones those are the ones that um jason schreier and other um writers and su such journalists who corroborated with that uh statement from i guess a document of sorts um mm -hmm. have mentioned in their articles and and taylor here she says that, that that is a lie uh she also said that there were no extensive negotiations um i've also been informed of ridiculous fictions such as uh i asked for two hundred fifty thousand dollars um, I don't think that. See, that's weird because no one never no one mentioned that it was two hundred fifty thousand dollars. It was just six digits, right? I believe. Yeah. So she says, "I'm a team player. I was just asking for a fair living wage in line with the value that I bring to this game." Um, and then she just talks about like how much she was paid in the first game, uh, a little more in the second one, and then yeah, so. Um, it's, uh, and then there, I believe there is, uh, one more, I believe one little bit. Okay. So there's, there's this little thread right here. She, oh, actually, hold on. See, I don't know why they show, don't show the whole thread. They only show like a partial thing here, but then I have to like go back to here and then it like shows this part, which I would have missed if I haven't reminded myself. But see, I see it doesn't show the whole thread. It's so weird. Anyway, okay, so she then mentions right at the at the end of her thread that she has, um, or let's see, yeah, she just mentions the charities and then talks about how like. Oh, um, peop the, uh, there are people who are attempting to throw shade and discredit, and the industry the, the industry is powerful, and they have powerful journalists too. So it's like pretty much trying to discredit uh, Jason Schreier and all the other journalists yeah. and stuff like that. And then, um, yeah, they're just trying to save their asset. Don't fall for it. That's another quote. And then she mentioned this in her thread again and you know again let me at the end of the thread um the only time i was ever at a game conference i felt ask i felt weird asking fans for money at for a signature as they already paid for the game i was grateful that they liked my work and the character so i donated 100 percent of the signing fees to charity um the only time uh wait what why is there two of them that's so weird huh Wow. Okay. And they have two different amount of likes and um You've seen that, right? Yes. That's very Sorry. strange. Huh. Yeah, there's two different amounts of like likes and retweets and stuff like that and comments, so I'm like, what the heck? But um uh, anyway, either way. Um yeah, I just feel like this is like trying to like kind of fluff it up, like um Hey, like it's like, hey, I I did this stuff. I mean, I donated to charity, so therefore I'm not that bad of a person. That kind that kind of thing, kind of gaslighting it almost to me anyway. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you don't. Do you... you don't. Go ahead, go ahead. When you when you do like that, you kind of don't want to announce it. You know, you just do it. Yeah. Out of the goodness of your heart, and you just get on with your life. You don't need to go like. Um. And again, just announce it to the world. I did this. It's like okay. Yeah, like, um, I mean, it's one thing to say, oh, hey, I donated to, uh, this charity, but it's like, oh, I felt weird gaining this money, so, blah, 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 like, you don't need to be that detailed about it, you know what I mean? Yeah. I think, I feel. So, anyway, either way, I felt like this little bit of detail was just trying to, like, fluff it up, you know, trying to paint herself less mm -hmm. of a, um, bad person type of thing, right? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, H how do you feel about this um development of the story at this point bruh mm. yeah i mean twitter already blew up on her i i, I don't need to like say anything more just no i get it you yeah. know tip, tip up the hat and just be on my way 
that's why I'm gonna say this to you because I'm not saying this right now. Uh. Right. So pretty much like uh, as he's typing up, um, I would say it's definitely like, on my end. It's definitely disappointing overall. It's just like very. It's it looks pretty conclusive at this point that she's just trying to like get away with it sort of thing uh after yeah. what she initially did um like yeah you could say like oh she, it, she was telling a half truth rather than actually full out lying mm -hmm. but she omitted details in order for her to have a case to do the boycotting so it's like isn't that wouldn't that be as bad as lying anyway you know what i mean like if you yeah when you when you think about it it's really like um like yeah, unprofessional and what some Twitter users put it as is being petty and mm -hmm. all these other words. And I'm like, you're right, but calm down. Mm -hmm. To me, it's like like the it's like the heat of the moment. You know, when you're mad, you don't really think okay like clearly until until like a few days later I'm guilty of that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right um either way though i mean like i feel i mean i don't like if you're gonna if you're gonna release a video like that i think you have to pretty you have to be pretty thorough about it like even if you're in the here in the moment mm -hmm. you know type of thing this is like because yeah. you're breaking the nda at this point and you got like and you're gonna like say stuff like that i think you gotta be on top of your game like that you can't let your emotions get the best of you i guess i know that the yeah. mo there are here the moment sort of things too but this is a video man and this is something you can take a look at look at it edit it you know, oh shit, I mean, I forgot this detail, I should probably splice in this or something like that for just the sake of like, you know what I mean? Like, it just seems like yeah. at this point, I mean, she, she like she was trying to fluff it stir up, the pot. stir the pot and make it her own way. So that way she has a case to boycott the game because, you know, at this point, she just feels salty about the situation. Like well yeah i mean they offered at least fifteen thousand dollars but um i think i felt more worth more than that and then yeah. you know and then you know according to that um that document quote unquote or whatever from that article from you know trier from and all the other fucking journalists you know she asked for six digits you know but then she specifies the two hundred fifty thousand dollars, which no one mentioned right I think that's something we can get clear. So that to me is weird. Let's just, just that's just another weird thing about it. And then why does she keep mentioning that the forty for the four hundred fifty million dollar thing? Like, yeah. It's like why do you keep mentioning that? Like that's not even the right number, I think, right? It's not that popular of a franchise. And she even says without merchandise. So that's even more unbelievable. And then the whole thing about um, you know, attacking, well, quote unquote, attacking, um, Jennifer Hale and stuff like that. All, you know, the, all, yeah. you know, that's my voice, you know, that she doesn't deserve to say that's her voice or what, I don't you know, stuff like that. Um, mm -hmm. oh, she doesn't have the right to sign merchandise, blah, blah, blah. And then, uh, she even did, did the guilt tripping where it's like, oh, you can buy the game if you want. That's your choice. But if you're human, and you want to support people, then you boycott the game. You know, that sort of thing, too. Another mm -hmm. thing that I should like, have taken into consideration. Yeah. Sorry, you're going to say something? Uh, it's in my head canon. <laughs> okay. This is pretty much like how people are dealing and still dealing with um the whole Harry Potter franchise. Right. Yeah. As a comparison. As a comparison. Right. So I'm 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 gonna be the smart one. I'm gonna buy the game. Don't know when. But and I'll play it. But I will have that decency to separate, you know, 
the game from the drama. Drama right. go there. Right. Game stays here. Right. I'll acknowledge the drama, mm-hmm. but I will not have that drama affect your you know, decision my, and stuff. Right. My decisions, nor the um, uh, me playing the game. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, I get it. I mean, um, I mean, as much as I want Helena to still be Bayonetta, right? If I still want to hear her, I have Bayo one and two. I have Smash. Right. I have Port. I mean, um, <laughs> video. There, there is that option, definitely. Um, yeah, and, and then if you want to be like the 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 smart asses, that's it. Oh, if you don't like Jennifer Hale, mute the game. <laughs> or or it's like what? Okay. <laughs> it's like huh? huh? I, mean, I guess there's always a Japanese dub, <laughs> Japanese audio, or if if and if it does go, or if you jailbreak your um your switch, which you shouldn't, but if you did, maybe you can dub dub the lines over yourself. <laughs> that's that's uh huh, that'd be interesting. Yeah. Yeah, anyway, I think there's all the there's all the building blocks of Helena Taylor being, you know, the bad person or whatever, the culprit and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, she instigated this whole thing. She started this whole thing. Um, I mean, it, it sucks because I really felt like that I wanted to uh, support her because, you know, she seemed like the underdog, right? I mean, you know, yep, yep. when it's usually in these situations, a lot of people gravitate towards the person, right? Versus the company, mm-hmm. right? The big company, right? Big corporate. Um, and a lot of this stuff has been, yeah, I mean, like, you know, especially with like, you know, Activision Blizzard, right? The whole, that whole situation. <laughs> when that's, when people were starting to talk about it, like, you know, hey, you know, people were immediately going to the people, right? They're, they're supporting people, all oh, this awful, blah, 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 right? And, um, they didn't really so much like wait for Blizzard to come out with their story, right? So, it, the people were already like supporting the people, right? And then guess what? The people were seemingly in the right so far with all the articles and stuff like that that have been coming out, especially with you know with all the other information has been coming out to light, right? And the people leaving, mm-hmm. people getting fired, right? Those certain people getting fired, yeah. I mean, it's really adding up to you know that story, right? So in that mm-hmm. case. Yes, the people are in the right, and the company is the bad guy. But unfortunately, in this situation, it's the reverse. Uh, the company is, I guess, good, and then disappointingly, Jennifer, uh, not Jennifer, excuse me, um, Helena Taylor is the culprit here. Um, unfortunately, the bad guy of all this, uh, this story, this entire story, uh, through through pretty much lying omitting information and the manipulation so um um she pretty much used her good name to try to fool people and then to boycott the game to try to get back at back at the the company and stuff like that um but not but 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 let's take away uh let's at least take away something from this whole situation and that is the fact that voice actors are still unappreciated and underpaid mm-hmm. you right they don't have all the 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 sort of the the right amenities and stuff like that. No royalty pay, no you know you know like bonus or anything like that. Uh, I I mean even the developers don't get much of that either. So it's like I think the problem here as a whole is that games make so much money and yet the deve- all the workers don't really get you know the the reasonable sort of amenities out of, out of that. Right, so they don't get any bonuses. They don't get any. Uh, well, some companies you know, offer that, but very few. I feel um, no royalties or um, residuals, um, and just like you know, with voice actors, right? They just get pretty low pay for what they wor- what they're worth, right? Especially if 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 it's, this is a a returning role with an established character already, who's already 
quite known in the eyes and ears of gamers and such, or whatever audience you're going for, which is uh, Bayonetta, right? Granted, yes, mm -hmm. it's not that popular of a franchise in comparison to other pe uh, other such gaming franchises, but still, right? It's a returning role. It's the third game, right? It's made a fair amount of money, right? So, yeah, you, you do want to kind of be nice about it at that point, but, you know, did she have a right to ask for more money? Sure, but from what she's been doing with this whole soul situation, at, in the end, I'm, I'm, I'm very disappointed. I don't like it. You know, I, I, I just can't definitely can't say that I'm on her side anymore. Again, it's very disappointing because this is a voice actress who brought this cool character to life. You know what I mean? So I feel like a lot of people are like on that boat where it's like, oh, but Helena Taylor is being in it, right? You know, understandably. But at this point, it is what it is. We just gotta accept um, what is what is there. So it seems like, yeah, Helena Taylor is looking bad. Unless she has some case, right? She has this, like, bombshell of evidence and stuff like that. But from what it looks like, again, she is a liar and manipulator and of the whole situation. And, um, yeah, it's kind of kind of sad to see. You know, she, she she already said that she wants to move on and stuff like that from voicing Bayonetta and then just do theater or something like that. So that's... Uh, quite i i don't know how else to say it again disappointing uh anything you wanted else to say you do you honey mm -hmm. you do you. you do you yeah and to I'm everyone else enjoy. oh sorry i'm just gonna enjoy these black balls in my mouth <laughs> the boba yeah um and i met and i have one friend that hates boba too and he's I almost killed him. <laughs> He's like, I don't like the texture. I was like, okay. Mm, <laughs> you move straight up my list to die. Good job, <laughs> sir. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Um. So at this point, just get the game. You know, support the company for future stuff, mm -hmm. right? Future opportunities. Um. Support Bayonetta. And from what, yeah, yeah, and then from what Platinum said in their uh, official document, it looks like for for now there is hope and a little, uh, you know, a little tiny light. Yeah, at it, at the end of this tunnel, that if three does well, there might be more Bayonetta. And it'll be um, Jennifer Hill. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. To which again, people, to the ones that attacked her for just no goddamn reason. Yeah. Give her time. She will find that voice. Yeah. 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 For sure. For sure. Uh, yeah. It's always like uh, when it comes to like you know in, um, YouTube stuff. Whenever they bring in the new guy, people just film it down or comment like oh who's this guy uh, and then like a yeah. couple maybe like a, within a month or two or whatever then it'd be yeah. like oh wow i really like this guy I like his opinions or this I like this person I like the like their opinion you know that sort of thing i like how they you know bring their i like their take on whatever it is you know what i mean like so that's what happens when something new comes about they don't like it because they're not that's not what they're used to especially when it's for this long the third game at this point, especially with Bayonetta, you know, that's going to be natural. But again, it is what it is. Uh, I just wanted to, um, it, oh, sorry. I'll say, is it bad? I kind of want Bayonetta in three. Just shout at a character named Bob. Oh. <laughs> Bob, <laughs> <It's> like, something. <laughs> it's like, it's like, whoa, wait. <laughs> I is this canon now? Is, is, yeah. is Bayonetta part of yeah, um, Overwatch? Hope like you kind of hope there's like a like a cowgirl Bayonetta or something somewhere in the game, and then have 
I don't know her. Have one of the demons be dressed up Bob as or, Bob, or make me name Bob or some for some fucking reason. That'd be pretty. That'd be pretty funny. I, oh, oh, she's yeah. talking to Beelzebub, but she calls him Bob. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> there that'd be, we go. Yeah, that'd be pretty clever. Yeah, I'm pretty. You know, funny you say that. I've been. I tried out Ash a little more in Overwatch too, and uh, she's pretty fun. I like. I like her. I do like her, for for uh, for her role and stuff like that, especially with Bob. <laughs> anyway so yes uh, i just wanted bob. to yeah bob yeah bob <laughs> in that voice <laughs> uh i even i even rewatched the uh the short with uh mccree and you know and ash right the apple mm. pie and everything right you know and then so like the, the voice you know what i mean like yeah it's, it's just nice still holds up i think that but animation can, still like, holds up yeah the animation still holds up but i just like, I'm sorry, people. I don't call Cassidy Cassidy. He's still McCree every time I see him. Nah, I mean, literally, like, I think that, sh I mean, the fucking short calls him McCree. It's not like they dubbed it over. Like, Carlson, imagine if they Carlson. did. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, that man. Would be a nightmare. Right. Cassidy. <laughs> like a robotic voice. Cassidy. <laughs> Hey, what's your name? Cassidy. <laughs> Cassidy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like in like in like uh wait what what's what are the stations like um TNT and like uh what's what's that other one? Like Spike TV and stuff like that. They do those like really yeah. awful like dubs over like curse words. Like banana or something. <laughs> yeah, and the mouth will sync up. You're just like Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. What is this? Yeah. Anyway, so uh, I just wanted to bring this uh, tweet what, from Schreier, you know, kind of like doubling down and pretty much, you know, confirming and stuff like that. Um, pretty much admitting that there was $50,000 somewhere in that um, that whole story. Um, yeah, so even Helena Taylor commented, at least... At least it's incorrect. Um, and there's a bit of a bit of a back and forth of Schreier and Taylor, so not gonna go over that, but you kinda see where that's going. So yeah. It's all for you guys to read on your off right on your off hours. Yeah, exactly. Enjoy. Well, try not to enjoy, but you know. Yes. There you go. <laughs> Uh, oh, so, oops, uh, I didn't mean to close that one. But at least, silver lining, I guess, one of the other silver linings is that the game is seems to be earning uh, pretty good scores from the early reviews. So it looks like the game is pretty good itself. Nothing wrong with it. I, I don't believe these um, numbers. I'll wait for the actual credible, they never lie source of gaming and movie review scores i'm waiting for the ing scores <laughs> you know you can never doubt them <laughs> they are always on top with their scoring uh four out of ten too much water <laughs> <laughs> one out of ten too much hair yeah too much hair exactly exactly <laughs> yeah um, what's the Japanese um video game magazine? Oh, Fam uh, Famitsu. Yeah, no, Famitsu. Actually, I kind of want to wait for their uh, review. Yeah, you know, their reviews are always good. Seems to be right. Yeah. 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 But uh, seem but across the board seems to be pretty good so far. Yeah. So there is that. I mean, it, to me, it's kind of like you know, again, it's like it better be a fucking good across the board. They had this many time, uh, you know, a big timeline or time, you know. Yeah, yeah, development time, you know. But development time, thank you. Yes, to, but there are times to, to make the beautiful thing. Yes, but there are times where even for that long of a time, the game is still unfinished, and we've seen that story too many times. <laughs> but then we should have. So, <laughs> how are you there? Uh... <laughs> Cyberpunk? Yes, ah. Cyberpunk, Anthem, <laughs> um, so on and so forth. Um, um, what was that other game? Evolve. Evolve. Oh, man. 
Oh, and no oh, man's. I'm sorry. Did you did <laughs> did you get gray hairs? A little bit, and then no man's sky, <laughs> and then you know so on and so forth. So. What do you mean no man's sky? There is a sky right there. <laughs> yep. Anyway, so at least the game is good. Seems like so far. Uh, hopefully by then, when it reaches to people's hands, the people enjoy it. Just go out and buy it. You know, like I said, uh, it'll it'll support future opportunities and stuff like that. For sure, or just support, just support, just support just for the sake of uh, supporting Bayonet. How about you know, that's a good way to look at it, or a simple way to look at it, you know, mm -hmm. simply put. Um, but yeah, so it's a kind of a lesson learned for me, anyway, at least, um, you know, because it was Helena Taylor and stuff like that. I just automatically jumped to her side, right? But I jumped the gun, sort of waited for the other side of the story, you know. Um, so from now on, I'll try to be more. Um, careful, let's just say, about that sort of stuff. Um, and yeah, trying not to let the the emotions get the best of me and stuff like that. So, uh, so yeah. Um, any ending comments or concluding comments? No, nope, but you you saw what I tweeted to you. Why not tweet it? But that DM, yeah, yeah, I get it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, for those who are looking forward to Bayonet, I hope you uh, enjoy your time with that. And maybe it'll become a four four hundred fifty million dollar franchise after that, <laughs> right? <laughs> right. Um, but also, hopefully, uh, the voice actors, right? Hopefully, it doesn't uh, you know set them back yeah. a bit because you know this whole thing. But you know, hey, I mean, hopefully, the voice actors can get something out of it. Right, this whole situation will be a stepping stone of some kind. Because, you know, if it was backtrack a little bit, if it was four thousand dollars, it's still cheap. You know, people still look at it like, oh, but it's two hundred and fifty dollars an hour. You know, don't stop stop doing that. It's not it's not a, it's not a day day to day job. It's a gig. You don't get those often. Yeah. So anyway. And and She's not even contracted. It's as you said, it's a gig. It's a gig. Exactly. Only one person can get it anyway. So it's like you, the company's only only paying four thousand dollars to that. Yeah, you know, to that one role. You know, it's not like they're paying four thousand dollars to every fucking. You know what I mean? So anyway. All right. So I guess to wrap up this uh, side of news, um, there's been scalping for the uh, GPUs again. What do you know? Uh, this time around, it was the with the four forty series. So I think they were supposed to be originally around sixteen hundred dollars, right? But some of them are going for like twenty six hundred, thirty thirty five hundred, um, a total of I guess six thousand dollars for something some reason. I uh, I don't know. Oh no no, I think that's the total price of these two. But anyway, so yeah, so um. 3500 2600 whatever, right? Overly expensive. What do you know, right? So it's been happening uh, with these GPUs once again. This time around, just it has a number four in it, you know, number whatever. And so um, for those out there, just be careful. Don't be tempted. Don't be fooled, right? Um, that's all I can say about that. But with that also means... Because that is happening again, these GPUs are starting to go up too, um, slowly, I, I believe. So again, uh, try to be careful with that. Don't be tempted. I know it's, um, you know, probably that time for you to upgrade your GPU or something like that, or you want to in order to, you know, play games and stuff like that. Those play play those uh, new games that are coming up. Um, but man, it's a good thing I guess that I got. <clears throat> um, the 3060 Ti early on, right? I, I made that right move, it looked like. Instead of waiting for um, Black Friday to come around. Because <clears throat> I thought this would, this would, stuff like this would happen because of um, scalpers, you know, whether it's for mining or just the sake of, for the sake of scalping, right? So I guess just get it as early as you can and try not to wait too much on Black Friday. I mean, hey, I mean, you can get lucky, but that's a bit of a gamble there, is it? So, uh, any comments on that part? Yes. 
What? Sorry? I- idiots. Yeah. Yeah. These scalpers. Mm-hmm. You're all. So go away. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, uh, I wonder how long this is going to work because, you know, you're going to be. At some point, you're going to be sitting on that inventory. You're going to have to sell that shit away at, at, at a reasonable price. So let's see how long this lasts. But you would think you would think that stores would be also like prepared for for scalpers at this point, but still happening. But yeah, I mean, hey, what can you do? There, I think there's probably like there's always a a workaround, you know, with their sit with the current system, and then the and then the the company's gonna come up with another system. It's a war, right? <laughs> it's a back and forth thing. With uh, retail and stuff like that, I guess. Well, anyone out there who still needs a new GPU, best of luck to you. That's all I can say. Um, and just be careful. Don't let temptation take over. Because it's your wallet. Your money account. Or uh, your bank account. It's your money. So you gotta be careful. All right. So that is all for the frontline side of news. We're moving along nicely. Um, there's been some sort of um, report, I guess, with uh, Capcom. Um, with their releases. And from what it sounds like. Seems like they're going to be releasing all their new titles past. Um... March 2023, so the only major one before that, or around it, rather, is Resident Evil 4. Uh, according, At least according to uh, Genki Japan on Twitter. Saying it says, uh, uh, looks like Chatcom's only major release until the end of 20- March 2023 will be Resident Evil 4 Remake. Previously, they said major, mul- uh, multiple major title, uh, new titles, excuse me, in their... Uh, financial reports now they just say a may ma- a uh, major new title so it looks like this screenshot was from the past but now they're only releasing one major title around or before that and of course um i guess they're doing this because they want that or they want to let's see um, going forward, your company will achieve full year guidance through measures such as the release of a major of a major title in the second half of the fiscal year. So a lot of people are speculating that this could mean, you know, games like Street Fighter, Street Fighter Six is not coming out in Feb- in the traditional February. Is what is being speculated right now. Nothing confirmed, but from what it looks like or sounds like, um. That's probably the situation. I mean, if that is the case, I don't care. I want the game to have its time and be good. Working like a well-oiled machine, right? So, uh, that's just me. Nowadays. Because <laughs> there's like a lot of things for me to consume nowadays when it comes to entertainment and other such digital media. Uh, any comment on this? <laughs> Just slowly release, Capcom. Just slowly release. Baby steps, baby steps. No baby steps. Yeah. Yep. That's... And, and, and don't fall on your face. <laughs> yeah. Just fall on your ass instead of your face, please. At least when you fall on your ass, you can pick yourself up faster. On your face, you're kind of like on the ground, like, ow. Oh, ow, yeah, moaning and pain. Yep, exactly. And then you get up and you you know you might get a broken nose or you have dirt on your face or you landed on a pile of shit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, when is Exo Primal coming out then? That that makes me wonder. Um, Exo. You mean not Dino Crisis? But not Dino, Dino Crisis. Crisis but, but it is <laughs> Dino Crisis. Oh, so it is twenty twenty three. Okay, so I I okay. I thought I was coming out this year <laughs> for some reason. All right. Uh, that's nice. I'm I'm waiting for the other game, the the space one. Oh, um, Pragmata. Pra- Pragmata, yeah, Pragmata, yeah, right there. Because <laughs> it it looked. I'm sorry, like the Dino thing looks 
the exo primal looks fun but i kind of want to know what, what is this little girl right what is right. this space man what the fuck is that yeah it's it this is definitely something you do want to play with your friends and not just like randos and stuff like that so like um i'll have to see if the guys really want to play this game or not we'll see uh but yeah pragmata does look pretty interesting to say the least so i definitely keep an eye, eye out for that if it's just like you know like uh uh death stranding right where you're just like walking around and watch cutscenes and stuff like that and do some some stuff um probably less likely but we'll have to see we haven't seen too much from pragmata so i'll keep an eye on that one Exo Primal was like, yeah, I do want to play it, but I don't want to see if my if my if the guys want to play that game because definitely looks like it's something you definitely do want to play with um with friends. Again, not with randos, but I don't know. I mean, we'll see. We'll see. Um, Gundam Evolution. I kind of forgot about that game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I showed up on the search thing, but yeah. Um, well, yeah, anyway, so that's that. Let's go on to something pretty interesting with, uh, an old game. So Fallout 4, remember that one where it was a Fallout title where a lot of people actually got it, you know, and it was mixed reviews because it was like pretty different from the older Fallout games in some more ways than one, but they're coming out with the update of sorts. So. Fallout 4 will receive a next gen, free next gen update in 2023 for uh, the Xbox Series, uh, PS5, and PC, which includes performance, high FPS, quality, 4K modes, bug fixes, and bonus Creation Club content. Uh, this is from uh, Nabel or Nabellion on Twitter. So that's actually kind of cool. Um, you know, for those who do play it on especially console and stuff like that. But not to mention, I think um, this will be pretty cool for PC people too as well. Because it, this is now actually an, a big official update. So that's why the game will actually look clean. Instead of having to like, you know, uh, mod, it, mod it to hell and stuff like that. You know, I, I'm pretty sure like if you run a lot of mods that can do something to your computer, right? Or the game really. You just never know. So that's why it's good to have official updates like this to sort of alleviate that stuff. Um, kind of tempting, right? Uh, for me to go back to that game if this does come out. Um, at at some point. But yeah. Uh, um, any comment on this one in particular? Jesus. <laughs> right. I mean, meanwhile, uh, Star, what's it? What's that? Star Fall was it? <laughs> uh, yeah, Star Fall. Yeah, and then um, Elder Scrolls Six, right? And then yeah, a lot of big games on their belt, but any stuff like this, you know? Yeah, that's uh, what I got on that one. Uh, meanwhile. Witcher Remake has been uh, announced. Another big frank gaming franchise. But this is a, a full remake. This is going to be built from the ground up with Unreal Engine 5, according to uh, CD Projekt Red. Again, it's from Nibelian. Um This Witcher Remake is being developed by Polish studio uh, Fool's Theory with veteran Witcher staff. This is previously announced title uh, that was codenamed Canis Majoris. Still early in development. Um, any uh, comments on this one? Since you, I think you have played Witcher Three at least, right? Just what? I guess why? Just yeah, why? yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm kind of like getting to that point. Like I fucking don't like remakes anymore there's final like, fantasy 7 though <laughs> yeah but when it comes to like stuff that you know it shouldn't even need to be remade to me with 
<laughs> FF7 remake. Everyone knew that it was the oh shit button we need money for Square. So you give that a pass. But this Which is... Which we make? I don't know if this one is like their secret oh shit button. I mean... What? I mean, they don't need I mean, to say yes, oh yes, shit, yes, but... <laughs> yes, but yes, uh, Cyberpunk kind of like... Set them back a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But, um, you know, hey, I mean, it's the Witcher remake. It's not like Witcher 3 remake. <laughs> That'd be really weird, but, you know. It's, uh... Unless when they say the Witcher, like. Hold on. Like, what, what, are, what are they going to. Obviously, the combat. Right. Obviously, the graphics. Oh. <gasps> And Geralt's VA is going to be Henry, Henry. Cavill. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe his face will be uh, will be Henry Cavill's, and then they'll have um, Geralt's uh, original voice actor. Maybe I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe a nice little tie-in, I guess, or or at least have a Henry Cavill skin, you know, of sorts in the remake. That'd be kind of cool mm-hmm. to promote not only the wall, the franchise, well, I mean, the game, but the show, right? Yeah. Promoting within promoting, I guess. Uh, that's pretty much it. I don't think there's anything other, any other like detail like an eye, that I can see. Um, oh God, yeah, I don't want to go through that. Anyway, so, <laughs> Um, I think that's pretty much it. It's still early in development, so we gotta wait quite a bit. So, I mean, I mean, if it looks really cool, I may consider picking it up because I have never played Witcher, so it's probably a, probably gonna t- be a good time to maybe play it or get into it. We'll see. Mm-hmm. All right, on to the next one. This is involving with Pokemon. Uh, we do have a new Pokemon to talk about now. And it is Grieveyard. Or Grieveyard. Grieveyard? Grieveyard? Graveyard. Yeah, Graveyard. It's called Graveyard. Yeah. Grieveyard is pretty much like the good boy, right? You know, um, doggy type of Pokemon. Um, You kind of see right here within the Paldea region. But then when you play around with it too much, it supposedly drains your life. <laughs> so pretty sure it'll have like um like a, an ability to maybe like multiply the effect of like uh, absorbing moves, like HP absorbing moves like Giga Drain and like and stuff like that, for example. Mega Drain, you know, stuff like that, so on and so forth. Or maybe it'll have a pretty powerful ability to like absorb um HP every turn. I don't know you fight it for too long you know <laughs> that'd be pretty op uh i don't know if it explained any of the uh abilities all we know is just a, a ghost type pokemon and that's about it nothing too outrageous about it other than maybe like the teeth and the candle on its head but uh, that's it just a dog. <laughs> a Halloween dog. Uh, any comments on his design or anything like that? Shaggy dog. Yeah. But I, again, like how with um, the Pokemon company keeping tradition with their um, ghost Pokemon. Look how cute it is. It's going to kill you. Yeah, so yeah. What? <laughs> They've been kind of doing that for over the years, huh? So, mm-hmm. and again, they don't shy shy away from it nowadays. It's just full on yet. Yeah, this thing's gonna kill you. Yeah, especially with Drifloon's lore, like it kidnaps like children or something like that. <laughs> like, Drifloon's lore, um, the mass Pokemon, how it carries its face, its own face as a mask. I'm like, ah. <laughs> that's or um the the tree 
Oh, Trevenant, yeah. Trevenant, it's like, it's the soul of a dead child. <laughs> what? <laughs> so, wait, what? Um, it's like, okay, um, <laughs> it's like, who's been reading, um, scary stories to tell in the dark? Yeah. Or, um, those, uh, old Japanese, like, um, uh, Bakemono, uh, Story. Oh yeah, yeah, Yo- in like yokai and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the yokai is like, say like, okay, <laughs> which one of you got touched by a yokai? Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if. Let me see. I wonder if it was weird, like how they like teased the reveal, like uh, they showed like Gengar in the thing first. I'm like, wait, so are they gonna like show the next gym leader? That's like ghost type or something like that. Uh. Who has Gengar as a partner or Pokemon or whatever? The next gym leader is Sabrina's uh, daughter. <laughs> Wait a minute. To yeah. which we never, right? Only Koga has a kid, right? Yes, only Koga, I think. Yeah, yeah, that's, Ko- like that's Koga. Canon. In canon, only Koga has a kid. I think so. In the games. Because the animes, I'm sorry, kids, the animes are not canon to the games yep it's uh, it's in its own canon <laughs> so it's own thing i mean i know i know how much of us would love to have the anime canon to the game you know so we can find ash last satoshi and beat the crap out of him with his shitty ass pokemon <laughs> i mean except for a hawk here because if satoshi shows his gengar hawk would be like i'll hug it <laughs> i'll actually hug that gengar <laughs> No, you'd be like in the middle of the fighting, like I, I, I can't, I can't see it, and i will be like staring at the sideline. Mm. Shame, shame, <laughs> shame. <laughs> shame. Or uh, ring the bell, shame, shame. <laughs> ring the bell, throw the bell throw at you. The bell. Like, <laughs> Finish the fight, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Just pretend that Gengar's oh, not there. That's a, that's a diddle. That's a diddle. That's a. <laughs> That's how it goes, man. How it's gonna go, really. Yeah, there's nothing. Right, I can't do shit. Yeah. Um. Yeah, nothing on the ability. Nothing too too much on the details on that part. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's just a, just a design. And I think I don't know where I found um saw it, but I think from this week, GameStop <laughs> GameStop is giving out you know those free vouchers for shiny Pokemon oh. to add on to Sword uh, uh, Sword Shield. Uh huh. So, yeah, I'll check back with you when I go visit GameStop later today. <laughs> yeah, it does sound pretty nice. And, and your baby boy. Yeah, my, like, my, my boy, my boy, man. My baby, and then goes, ignores the baby, and then goes to this dog. You know what the dog kind of reminds me of? What's well, up? Luigi's Mansion. Oh yeah, kinda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. It does kind of have that vibe to it. I do. I do kind of see that. Yep. And if you play with it too long, it'll drain up your life. You know, you gotta be careful with playing with the dog. I'm pretty sure, like in the next Pokemon season or whatever, Ash is gonna own, um, own this Pokemon. Or somebody like uh, one of the main characters will have this Pokemon. James. Sure. Yeah. Oh, maybe it could be, be James. James. Yeah, because uh, yeah, yeah, because um, James always has that Pokemon that like does something to him, right? Like, like um, yeah. Victory Bell always ate him, and then fucking um, that weird Chimeco um covers like suffocates him. Yeah. Cat- Catnia hugs him. Yeah, hugs him. And then there was that weird like that. Uh, porky, not not Pokemon, but like the sea urchin Pokemon, and it like poisoned him always. Yeah. But now, so yeah, so now the this ghost dog will probably drain the shit out of James, right? Playing with them and stuff like that. I'm still waiting for an episode where James goes back to his house and rest and takes his um Growlithe. Oh, Growlithe, it's probably yeah. a freaking Arcanine, freaking yeah. Arcanine by now. Yeah. <laughs> I miss you, Growly. He's like, ah. Yeah. No, Growly, you cannot come with me. Stay here and watch, watch the family. He's like, fuck the family. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. 
it's like James, did you not did you not see how your mom and dad just fake their funeral once you open that door? <laughs> yep. So good times, everyone. Good, good times. times for season one of a uh, of Pokemon. Yeah, that shit was wild in mean, comparison to now. Although there are there are some funny moments, in, uh, well at least it sounded moment because that's why I watched it. Like especially with the animation stuff, like they 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 went crazy with some of that stuff, man, in a good way, I think. Um, but anyway, oh, and if you really want to watch a good episode from the old Pokemon series, watch the Polygon episodes. Oh no, god damn! <laughs> at night, oh no, no lights, just the light of your TV, and see what happens. Is it even possible? Did they even have that episode up at that point? YouTube has it. YouTube, okay. But for like official stuff, I I don't think so. Oh yeah, I mean it's not like it's like part of the of any canon or anything. I don't think I don't think like oh it's not like um it's not important to the story or anything like that. I don't think anyway. It's like oh Ash got a scar on his face because of Porygon or anything like that, <laughs> you know. Oh yeah, I know. But still, that episode is like when you watched it for the first time. You're like, I think that's the one I've missed. Uh, so I got lucky on that. Potentially, it's like I can taste the colors now. Like, I do. I remember it was like all over the news. Like it was on the newspaper and everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, that shit, that shit was big. That shit was big. You know, if Kotaka was around, they definitely would have talked about it for sure. <laughs> you know? But hey, that was the time when Kotaka wasn't even around. In fact, a lot of things weren't around. <laughs> yeah. We had to read it from the newspaper. So yeah, get, you know. Anyway. That is it on that part. A uh, bit of random news right here, which is uh, involving with Red Dead, uh, Red Dead Online. So for, remember, uh, we talked about with Stadia going away. So there is one player who put into um, Red Dead Redemption, I guess, on Stadia, six thousand hours into that game. So with the with the whole system shutting down, uh, that player was like, uh, "I was wondering if I can like get my save file, you know, somehow." And you know, I guess uh, it looked like it wasn't the case, but. Looks like Rockstar came into the rescue and said you can. Uh, they're offering uh, account transfers from Stadia to, I guess, wherever wherever they want. So that's actually pretty cool. Good on uh, Rockstar for doing that, coming to the rescue like that. Because otherwise, you know, for the people who you know dedicated their time for uh, cloud gaming, in this case, uh, Google Stadia, man, I mean, that's uh, very unfortunate. But in this case, in this particular case with uh, Rock, uh, Red Dead and Rockstar, good on them. Kudos. Um, Rockstar, according to this from Game Rant, Rockstar isn't the only game company who has stepped up to help Stadia players who are being burned uh, burned by the shutdown. Ubisoft is helping Stadia players transfer their Ubis- Ubisoft published titles to PC. So. Stadia gamers can still have access to the, uh, to those games at least. Yes, because they do. Ha- Ubisoft has their own like account thing going on, which is annoying. Because you know, every time I play a Far Cry game, you have to be like, "Oh, yeah, do you have an Ubisoft account?" Uh, so yeah. At least it has its quirks. It has its pros and cons. You know, mm-hmm. like if you don't have an account. Uh, you gotta set one up. You can't even play the game without one, which is stupid, but it is what it is. But, hey, I mean, it comes to the rescue when it comes to these sort of situations. You can transfer, you can literally transfer your account to, over to PC, for example, you know. Which is how, uh, Multiverses works. Um, the, uh, Warner Brothers Multiverses works. They, they force you to have, uh, a Warner Brothers account. And then, you can play the game. That way you can cross progress uh, throughout your uh, your playthrough and stuff like that. That's how it works. It's annoying, but it has its place, I guess. All right, uh, this one's kind of cool with Sakurai. You know, we have uh, Sakurai has his own channel. Sakurai from you know Smash Smash, uh, Smash Brothers. Uh, Sakurai has his own YouTube channel, and in one of his videos, he 
included a detail revealing that Nintendo's, uh, I'm reading this from Yurserin, Yurserin, anyway, um, on Twitter, uh, Nintendo's corporate team didn't like Smash once again, uh, proves that the next billion dollar franchise is sitting in some CEO's trash can. So could you believe that? So Smash Brothers was something that the corporate did not like at first. They didn't like the idea of, I guess, Nintendo characters just duking it out. You know, they thought it would flop. But look at look where we are, right? It's like these one of the biggest games, pretty much, in the modern uh, times. Could you imagine? Could you imagine if uh, the CEOs were like really doubling down on this? And prevented Smash from ever being a thing. You know? Could you imagine a world without Smash? I don't want to. That sounds horrible. Because that's the game you and I, uh, Ender, and Quiet, you know, got together and play. And then, yeah, you know, that's how we... Raka. Then you guys. Yep. You guys hated my Bayonetta. And now you guys and your, your, are semi now. Now well, your pe- uh, and you also my your peach, <laughs> my peach, your peach, and your Bowser, dude. Like, dude. And then of course, when we're playing four player Smash, you always pick fucking Smash Samus and go roll around and charge and shit. I'm like, I'm, I'm like always pounding in my finger, and I'm like, <laughs> he's right there. He's always doing the same thing. That this is all I'm doing, chat on the other side. Yeah, just pew pew big. Pew pew and then pew, pew 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 the big big pew pew with the big ball. Oh man. And you can just hear this man screaming. He has life. <laughs> Take it. <It's> like... Yep. <laughs> no then... one is winning because no one is attacking him, man. <laughs> and then it's fun to see you guys trying to go after my peach when I'm just floating. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's like, Wee! Wee! Of course. Go away. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> and then there's my Incineroar. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Like, like y- you and Falka are, are timing my, uh, or beating my, um, uh, my counter. So that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone else is still going like, he's right there. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Away. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Yep. If, if. But as you said, if um, if they really double down and said no to this game, what world would we live in? You know, I think there's a there's there's a universe that Smash wasn't made. I don't want to visit that one. I know. Right? <laughs> I mean, the world might been might turn out good because Smash was made, but still, it's like I no, I don't want. <laughs> we 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 don't know, man. You just never know how it would turn out. Maybe we're just being sterilized. Yes, I enjoy my life very much. So, <laughs> <You know? laughs> oh, hello, Z- Zawardo. How are you doing? How is your day? <laughs> I made out with five guys. Oh, that sounds wonderful. <laughs> Here's the receipt. <laughs> And it is a whole shit ton of fries on the bottom of your bag. It's all greasy. Hey, hey, hey shut up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, that's how they do it, man. This shit, this, to give a five, sh- five Guys fries are good. They are good. I'm just saying they're overpriced. The, the rest of the stuff is overpriced. Yeah, it, it's fucking overpriced. Yeah. It's like, can, can one meat, one small, everyone, one small. You can agree with me. It's already like 20, $25. And you're like, but it's a small. Yeah. What the fuck? Small combo. <laughs> yep. Yep. Could you imagine? Again. Could you imagine a, a, a universe without Smash? Right. This billion dollar idea would have been would have been just completely lost if uh, we actually listened to this or the people actually listened to the CEOs. You know, Sakurai and everyone else. But they perceive, they pushed on with the idea, and there you go. So one of the biggest franchises under their belt. 
Yep. Well, I mean, it's uh for the for a number of people, it's common knowledge, but um, or there, but there are people still who don't know. So there you go. I think it's still worth interesting, uh, worth a trivia sort of uh, fact. All right. Well, anyway, on that part, or that's it on that part. Last one for just games news. So, uh, both of us do play uh, gadget games. We're very familiar with that sort of whole aspect of, you know, spending money for getting characters and stuff like that in the past. I, I have no idea what you're talking about. I never spend money for games. <laughs> As I am free, free to play. As you grab your phone. <laughs> and slowly dying when I was saying that. Yes, yes. <laughs> Anyways, so there's this gotcha game from uh, Yoko Taro, right? And we all know who Yoko Taro does or well, what he does uh, mm -hmm. with his games, right? A lot of times he trolls, right? He's a troll. Uh, but there's this little bit right here. This is... Uh, a big warning here. After clearing the final arc, an ending clip will will be played. Once that clip is over, you'll be forced logged out. After that, you can never log in again. Please clear everything before you set foot. Near fans will understand. This is a please understand. Yes, <laughs> this is according to Sino Alice English. So yes, uh, I forgot to mention the name. Yes, the game called Seno Alice is a mobile game from Yoko Taro. It's, it's kind of like yeah, like, like the near mobile game pretty much. And yeah, it's a it's the only mobile game that's doing that, right? If you complete the story, it's done. All that money you spent for the game, poof, disappear because you beat the game. Right? Could you imagine that happening with FGO? Right? If you beat this story. This uh, oh, singularity. Singularity. The game shuts down. Right, all that money you spent, all that time you put, over just like that because you beat this beat the story. Could you imagine? Game over. Yep. How 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 would you feel about that? How do you feel about this uh, this gimmick right here? Oh, he's ready to see the aftermath. Yep. I mean... And speaking of gotcha, they're out now. Oh, boy. Van Gogh and um, Nero. Uh, Nemo. Oh. And she's back. Oh, boy. Who's the... Oh, my God. <laughs> nah, I'm going to wait for Muramasa. I'm going to be, 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 be a good boy. I'm waiting for Muramasa. Keep for yourself. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, he's actually doing it. He's actually doing it. Oh. <laughs> it's like, speak for yourself. Wow. He's actually summoning on the on on this episode, man. What'd you get? I don't know. It's just the first one. But uh yeah, kids, don't do gotcha. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> At least when you do, it's, if you do, gotcha. Keep a nice tight lock on your wallet. <laughs> yeah. I just when you said wallet, I yeah. Over, like yeah. Hi. <laughs> Credit cards over there. Yeah. Credit cards shaking in in my wallet, going like no, no, please not again, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that meme is like the dad with the belt and the son. Oh god. Like, dad, no. <laughs> yep. How much money is in you? <laughs> <laughs> Man. I love my RNG. Give me all the CEs in the fucking world. So you got nothing. <laughs> of course. I don't, know. I, I, I don't even know what number I'm at right now. Just hit just all I'm just seeing tap. Is, is, just tap. Is, is, it's fine. Tap it. I, I skip want it. To, uh, I want to embrace my 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 faults in my stars. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, anyway, um, it's funny because um, there's a there's a new character coming up for Genshin Impact, and uh, I am uh, actually planning to go a little deep in there because um, 
I, I'm not spending that much money on games this month. So I was like, ah, all right, well, might as well. I mean, you know, because <laughs> might as well do it, do it for a good cause, yeah, right? Good right. cause, good cause, quote unquote, right? <laughs> yeah, because I'm not getting Call of Duty and then Bayonets for December. So, hey. I, I'm hearing a lot of my friends here who loves Call of Duty are not getting this upcoming Call of Duty. Yeah, it's just too expensive, man. It's like 70 bucks right off the bat. It's like, oh my gosh. At least 70 bucks, I should say. Like, I heard the, I heard good good things about the campaign mode, which I'm I'm kind of tempted because I, I always play the campaign mode for those shooter, shooting games. But I don't know. At this yeah. point, I'm probably just going to watch a YouTube video or something. You know, watch people play it. Or watch people play it. Shit. Pretty much, yeah. That's my but, but again, like uh, these are my friends that are like avid um Call of Duty players and I'm yeah. like What you're skipping? Yeah. It's yeah, there's just things about it besides the price too, they're just awful. No, not awful, maybe like super annoying, let's just put it that way. Like uh it's, the way it's like annoying or um what's the word uh just a uh, offsetting yeah like, it doesn't it doesn't feel right like mm. you, you feel dirty when yeah you think about it like i'm sure the core gun gameplay is fine <laughs> but the, the shit around it is just gonna be annoying and shit like all the like modern gaming nonsense around it and on top of the game the starting price so that shit is no go for me unfortunately <laughs> i mean i'll get it it's on sale if it ever goes on sale but from what i've heard like um, the physical disc for Call of Duty is like useless because you still have to download most of your data from, you know, from the internet and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's the thing about it, man. These discs are like kind of nothing nowadays, man. It's all gonna be digital at some point. Seems like it is what it is. But yeah, I mean, and again, um, for those that likes physical versus digital, you do you. Yeah. Do you I... one has more convenience the other one is like preservation that... you know yeah the preservation or you know like some of us grew up yep. in the 90s and where physicals is like the thing yep, yep. so you can actually go like Bam. Yep. i have it man yep i like having uh fighting games digital just because it's like very convenient it's like oh i'm fired up i want to play you know let's play you know, but when it comes to shooting games, I kind of take my time. Like, all right, you know, um, whatever. It is a convenient when it comes to like Apex Legends and Overwatch, I guess. Um, mm -hmm. But other than that, yeah, everything else could be the physical or whatever if it's digital. Only fighting games. I, I kind of like having digital just because it's like very convenient, smooth like that. Whenever I feel like playing them. Uh, but yeah, anyway, that's, uh, that's all we got for this part. So, uh, we're actually moving on pretty nicely. We, now we have a big chunk, which is the, uh, anime movies and streaming series and more news. Stuff like that. So, uh, did you catch this, Zawa? So, uh, James Gunn and another, f uh, person has been named co-CEO for DC Studios. So, I guess within the, the... Warner Brothers Discovery Umbrella. Um, Jamie, James Gunn is a CEO of sorts. Mm. Uh, anything like, I mean, I don't know, like, um, best of luck to you, James Gunn. I do right. love your movies. They're mm. fun. Right. And yes, gotta remember kids. Peacemaker was done by him and it was freaking good i liked it yeah i liked it i enjoyed it just a matter of um uh, some fucking someone is calling me but it's like some stupid advertising bullshit anyway so um just hope that the wb discovery doesn't fucking fucking screw up so fuck it up yeah you know? fuck it up <laughs> uh, honey that's a tall order good luck yeah i know right it makes me worry about that kind of stuff um, I mean, if it does happen, uh, hopefully someone else will pick it up and be like, "Hey, I want it. I want more Peacemaker." I don't know. 
Uh oh, did you get something? Did you get something from Fate, Fate Grand Order? It, it was a scare. Oh, okay. Um, it was Tom Tom Cat. Oh, like, uh, I was like, <gasps> yeah, that instant light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like, Master, I'm here. Go away. Yeah. <laughs> I already have like the one I already have like five of you. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> already maxed out your MP. Go yeah. the fuck away from me. Yep. Uh, so yep, yeah, that is pretty oh much the news of it. Uh, James Gunn is a CEO of sorts for uh, DC Studios, kind of like uh, Kevin Feige to Marvel, kind of. Uh, I don't know if he will be director for some of the movies. Maybe he will. Um, I don't know. From what um, Kevin Feige said that um, James Gunn has a few more projects with Marvel, but then afterwards it's like, um, uh, you know, wishing him best of luck. Right. Okay. Okay. Maybe it's like a more up in the air than anything. As it does say, uh, Gunn will focus on the creative side of the studio while uh, Saffron uh, will handle the business and production elements. Gunn will also continue to direct projects exclusively for DC in his new role, while Saffron will mm -hmm. will keep producing. Both now report to uh, WB Discovery CEO David uh, Zoslev uh, directly. So okay, so it looks it looks like he's still directing, uh, more likely. Okay. So that's uh, pretty good. Definitely uh feel good about that for the most part. And yeah, like you said, best of luck. Hopefully you keep this uh, ship floating, and uh, hopefully the the commander, so to say, of the <laughs> ship, ship, yeah, of the entire <laughs> fleet ship. will sink won't sink those ships. Yeah, somehow. I thought it was a dinghy. Yep. Yep. Best of luck. All right. There was a trailer for Ant Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania. Did you see this trailer? Yes. Okay. Oh, well, don't play Elton John. Hey, hey, that's a that's a good song. I know, it's but we'll good... get claimed. We'll get oh. we'll definitely get claimed by Elton John's recording studio thing. So anyway, um, what do you think? What do you uh, what do you think of this trailer so far? Anyway. Yes, I I like it so far. I think this is one of the um the good movies for what is it Phase Five or whatever. Or this is gonna be kicking yeah, off Phase it's, Five. Uh, it's kicking off Phase Five. Yeah. So um, Black Panther is the end of Phase, phase Four. Five. Right, and then Spider and then Spider Man No Way Home was like the end for that Infinity Saga, right? I guess something like that. Uh, but yeah, anyway, with Ant Man here, uh, I like the humor in this one. They're like, oh, that old man's like, thanks, Spider Man. <laughs> you know, yeah, clearly not Spider Man. But anyway, uh, I like it so far. I like how it's looking, especially with uh, Kang the Conqueror, right? Being involved in this story. Going from like that that friendly, easygoing type of guy to like being serious in this one. I, I like it. Mm -hmm. And then. And then later on in the trailer, we do see him, and then you also see his iconic like s suit and uh, skin color. Oh, hey, okay, okay. Oh, and there he is, right there. Yep. Here he comes. And his army. Yep. So the, yep, this February coming this February. So if you go back a bit. Hmm. Oh yeah, Bill Murray's in it. Hell yeah, yeah. Fucking <laughs> okay, Bill Murray. Yep. Keep going back a bit. Uh, to where? Play it from there. No. For the back or good? Uh, try to play around here. It's like when the ship is flying into a red thing. Oh okay. Oh, Stop. here, here, here. Everyone and their mother thinks that's Wanda's essence. Oh, okay. Okay. I see, I see. Our physical body is destroyed. But everyone and their mother thinks that's 
her um her life force her essence right oh there. okay huh because um it looks like you know when she used the um dark hold oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. range and you saw all the bubbles yeah saying that it looks exactly like that okay okay right and in my head it's like yeah you may be right because we don't know if wanda like absorb a page or two uh-huh into herself Right, right, with right. With the dark hold, or the dark hold latched onto her. Mm -hmm. Yep. Pretty sure, uh, hang yeah, right there. I, oh, yeah, his I, suit. Iconic, yeah. Iconic, iconic look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's that's enough for me. Oh, for Which is weird that that both the units are five stars. Yeah, they've 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 done uh, dual five star banners though, so nothing new. So that's enough for me. I did. I did you get anything? No, I I I did my whole um, <laughs> CE queen shit. Oh, I see. So kids, when you're playing gotcha, set a limit to yourself. For me, the fake go on the first week of the banner, I only spent eighty dollars. <laughs> Cause usually eighty dollars is like a good like spending like, amount. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it gives you a hundred sixty-seven stones, and if you have like leftovers from beforehand, you kind of have a good you know, a good run. And because also the banner gives you now eleven pools. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it, it's a, uh, it's a good like, like you pacing your ass. Right, right, sure. Um, what, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I heard that in twenty twenty four, NA is gonna, or maybe twenty three. I'm, I'm not too sure about the dates or whatever. But I think they're actually going to start adding the pity system, like an actual pity system, by that point. You know, <laughs> I many, um, like, you know how many vet veteran players like us are like wow that's cool but fuck you yeah i kind of checked out of f uh f go in that regard like i mean i still i do like i'm still i mean i mean i still uh i'm like free to play but like spending money no mm -hmm. it's not worth it yeah I'm, I, not you're better you're better off with genshin impact because they have an actual piece and that works pretty well so yeah. For characters like, again everyone when you do gotchas you only spend money if it's the one character you desire yeah well <laughs> that's not... I, I i i i still fucking hate uh you know everyone else that keeps pulling the units that you that want <laughs> the <laughs> units that you want essentially and then uh, you pull the units that everyone else wants, especially with me. That's how it works. I didn't even want her. I just did it for shits and giggles. <laughs> and lo and behold, it blew up in my face, and I'm like, ah, I made a mistake. Yeah, because I think the <laughs> the last that last time that happened was during a Bunny Altera or something. Yeah. Yep. Bunny Toria. I think you you kind of a little bit almost went all out but then you're like uh, nope stop yeah yep. and then i was like hey yeah, let me try yep it was it like two yeah. try it was like in within two tries or something right so it's like yeah ridiculous and i was like you want my account and you just gave me like I, a, right like a disappointed stare like oh I'm yeah <laughs> <laughs> anyways here's kang in the more original uh, form in the comics anyway from what it looks like yep and you can you can actually try and get him in that new gotcha game uh marvel snap, snap. oh yeah that's right i'm not playing that game it looks weird yeah because they're, they're that from what i've seen there's no turn system it's pretty much <laughs> yeah next card next card next card next card it's like so when do I get to play? Now with this deck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. A lot of people uh, compare this like screenshot to like uh, Spy Kids. 
Uh, remember that? Remember that movie franchise? Yep. <laughs> I can. I, I definitely. I mean, see the, fir it. the first one was was a good opener. Oh, the yeah. second one was okay. The third one was a mess. Yes. And there's and then, Shark well, Boy and not, Lava not Girl. Not only on Spider, yeah, they were all saying that this looks like Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Yeah. <laughs> to which I was like, where, okay, where, where's um, fuck, what's his name? Taylor Lautner. Where is he? Oh yeah, yeah. Right. He he, I think he gave up acting. Yep. I think that's what happened. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, and this is. But, yeah. It real like this. <clears throat> like, he looks good. Oh yeah, yeah. But a lot of people are already like, you know, it don't. It's those people like, they just see this one, like clip or shot, and they go like, "Oh, this looks like trash already." Or, yeah. Oh, I hope he's not like his Loki variant. It's like, okay, see that word that you just used, the variant. Yeah. Here's a dictionary. Please read to me what variant is. Variant. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Noun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, and you can you can tell that this Kang means business. He has scars on his face. Right, right. I mean, hey, it could be the same Kang. We don't know. We gotta watch the movie. So, I mean, gotta wait and see. I mean, he's all scarred up and stuff like that. So, very looks like he made. Hell, it it could it could be fucking Loki for a week. I know, right? Like we don't know. Right? Posing as yeah. posing as Kang. Yeah, while be... the real Kang is like running around. Yeah, it could be a Loki variant, like a more shithead Loki type of variant, and then yeah, there you go. Uh, it could be um. K E V V I N O C S K. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And then She Hulk will come in and be like, "Hey, you gotta rewrite the story." Blah, blah, blah. No, no, She Hulk will be like, "Wait, wait, wait. like with a pencil, they call it." Oh uh, yeah, with the pen or whatever. <laughs> Just yep. like erasing. It's like right. there you are. Where's the X Men? Yep. <laughs> yep. So Quantum Media uh, looks looks good. Uh, we'll have to see. I'm pretty sure it'll be an entertaining movie, to say the least. But, but, but <laughs> you know, the, for the story and the hardcore Marvel fans and stuff like that. I mean, I don't know. But I do hope that um, <laughs> hope because that's her name in in Ant Man. Right, right. Um, I want to see Ghost again. Oh yeah, because isn't Ghost supposed to be one of the Thunderbolts? One of the Thunderbolts. But I hope. I, I hope Ghost is in here because um, the mother's name is Jane, right? I think so. I, it's been a while. Okay, Hope's mom yeah. helped Ghost, like control, like help control her power. So I kind of uh -huh. want to see like what has Ghost been doing all this time, and has she have more? Does she have more um, control? Mm -hmm. You know. Yep. But again, we, we just gotta wait for the movie, just like how I'm going to wait for to watch um Wakanda Forever. Yep, yep. And, and for everyone again that's bashing on the movie when it's not even out yet, like, like <laughs> Black Panther Two is gonna be a shit show. Um, this is a spit in um Chadwick's face is like what? Yeah, I don't know. What 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 special access? Did you watch? Right. Maybe they saw the early, early screening. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> but I doubt it. Only very yeah, few people get to see why, it. That's why, it, like, I kind of agree onto that that old statement. It, not everyone should be able to have access to the internet. Yeah. There are people who just are very much better without the internet. Let's put it that way. But anyway, uh, like I said, Ant Man looks pretty good. Um, yep. We'll see what what happens with the story. Story. <laughs> Yo, yep. <laughs> anyway, that's it on Ant Man. Meanwhile, ah, this is uh, meanwhile. 
This is uh, going to be one of the um, bad ones for today, unfortunately. This is involving with a voice actor named Takahiro Sakurai. Uh, he has voiced many characters in the Japanese audio side of things. Um, was reported to be uh, was reported to be in an affair of sorts uh, with another person. Um, appears to be um, with a script writer of his radio show, according to Audrey on Twitter. And uh, there's a lot of information oh coming out of this because of his marriage not being public till now, right? So people didn't even know he was married. Uh, which that itself isn't bad, but it's like mm, kind of kind of interesting, I it's, guess, it's, worth it's, noting. It's very it's very damping. Yeah, when you think about it. Right. Um, yeah, because okay, look, ten years. Yes, for he has ten been married for ten years. Yeah, he has been married for ten years without even making it public, right? So no one knew. Even the even the agency he's a part of didn't even know he was married for 10 years um of course like i see that as a as a good thing because when you know as a celebrity and stuff you kind of want to keep your personal life out of the limelight so yes. you know you can have somewhat of a peace and quiet but you know that shit doesn't happen in america right right that's uh... we have things called a paparazzi yeah the media you know that's uh that's life that those kind of uh things are everywhere unfortunately but anyway um sakura has uh been notable notable for voicing characters like cloud from final fantasy for example um and let me see if anything else came from this thread oh there's been other uh voice actors who had who has had similar situation so uh namikawa daisuke and okamoto nobuhiko has had been involved in these scandals with minimal impact to their careers uh mm -hmm. so i guess it depends on the actors themselves um ooh, but one person uh named tatsuhisa suzuki uh unfortunately tried to try to commit suicide at one point so he understandably needed a long hiatus. Oh shit. So um oh wow. Um he never told the script writer he that he was married, and he and the writer even talked about marriage. Uh when he when he is married, he lied to two women for ten years. That's the writer is sent to the hospital for meltdown, according to one person on Twitter. Damn, man. If that's true, man, holy shit. Um, this is uh, quite the situation, right? And um, for those who are wondering... Um, on Anime News Network, Mr. Sakurai has admit, uh, admitted that these um, allegations are true. So the ten year affair is is a, is a um, is a thing. Unfortunately, uh, of course, he feels great remorse and went in his uh, an endeavor to win back the trust of his fans. Mm -hmm. Right. So and it's kind of funny that <clears throat> we're on the subject of um, uh, Sakurai San right here. Yes, I look over at Twitter and this popped up straight. On my Twitter feed. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. I saw that. Wow. I saw that. <laughs> it's like Twitter is listening to us. Yeah. It's like, oh, you're talking about Sakura. Here you go. It's like, yeah, I put I put that in my uh, docket, but I, didn't, I just didn't bother adding it because it was kind of pointless. But hey, I mean, you kind of get to see, though, what characters he's voiced over the years. Like Cloud, uh, Suzaku from Code G uh, Geass. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, Taka from uh, Mob Psycho. Sasori. Okay. Sasori uh, from Naruto. Makishima from. Uh, uh, what was it? Oh, shoot. Um, it's the it's the cop. It's the. It was a, it was like Psycho something. Oh, no. Um, Not Psychopaths? Oh, Psychopaths. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Yep. 
It is psychopath. Um, he also voiced uh, Griffith. Mm-hmm. You know who 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 by himself, everyone Griffith did nothing wrong. Huh. Uh, Rohan Sensei from JoJo's mm-hmm. and Yu from Demon Slayer. Yep, Kimetsu Yaiba, and oh, Meme from uh, Monogatari. So yeah, or Bakemon Monogatari. It's Mimi. Mimi, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we are American here. We we read it as we pronounce it oh, as it's meme. It. No, no, that's meme. Ah. So you're a fraud. You're a fraud. <laughs> you're, you're, yeah, you're, you're right. Fraud. <laughs> I'm, I'm technically not American. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you live in an I'm American happy. state. Quiet, be quiet. You be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway, so unfortunately, Sakurai is yes um, has admitted to the affair, and and um, it definitely is, you know, putting a. Um, a wall between, you know, of trust, I guess, you know, right? So between, of course, his, himself and his wife, and of course, the partner in question, right? So the writer. So it's uh, pretty terrible, right? And there's been hashtags going around with, uh, you know, uh, Seven Remake, Cloud, um, Sakurai, yep, his name, and... You know, there's a bunch of other hashtags, you know, wanting to have a voice change, a voice actor change. So this is, uh, yeah, so th- right here, that's what it says right here, the voice actor change. Uh, I, I, I can't read Kanji, so I can't really say, but um, yeah. So pretty much, yeah, they're asking for replacement already, right? I mean, understandably so. It's been 10 years, man. It's been a long time. So, um, but in Japan, you know, things are different, right? So who knows how things are going to go, right? Because like she said, the voice actors have been involved with these scandals and yet they have had little to no impact on their career. So who knows? Maybe he's too good to be uh, to be casted out like that. you will probably keep going with it, right? You know, that's how things are in other countries, right? So... Just how it goes. Cultural differences and stuff like that. But then again, you know, when we had um Dr. Disrespect, right? He was in um in a scandal, right? He he cheated on his wife. I don't know how long, but it happened and and yet, you know, uh he apologized and he made you know a commitment to, you know, um to be a better person and stuff like that. And, you know, he talked to his wife, blah, blah, you know, all that stuff. They worked things out, I guess, in, in, in that regard. Um, I mean, and we don't know, right? We don't know the other side of the story when it comes to these situations, right? What if his wife was a piece of shit or something? I don't know. What if she, she is an asshole herself? We don't know that. So, hey, I mean... If he comes out of this okay, then that's what it is. Just like um, Namikawa-san and Okamoto-san. You know? Um, and if he continues to voice Cloud, then he continues to voice Cloud. This is what it is. It's unfortunate because, you know, um, a lot of people have been seeing Japanese voice actors as like the more like pure and good and stuff like that in comparison to English voice actors, right? Because there's been a number of voice English voice actors who's been in these situations, right? Like been on the news for bad stuff, like you know, like uh, Vic McNog McNogna, whatever his last name is, um, uh, you know, with uh, Monica Real and that situation, and then. Um, you know, stuff like that, so on and so forth. This voice act is just being pieces of shit and stuff like that. But yeah, you know, it sucks because I I like this voice actor. You know, Sakurai Son. I like his voice. I like his work. His you know his craft and stuff like that. But his person, you know, that's a different story. I don't know him as a person, so I can't really say about that. And stuff like this is uh, definitely disappointing. You know, we just talked about Helena Taylor. While she is a good voice actor, uh, voice actress, 
you know, and her as a person, man, looking like it's not uh, not good, seems like. But, uh, you know, this is a little different, I guess, right? This is involved with the marriage and stuff like that. So, um, hopefully things work out, I guess, uh, I guess. That's all I can say. And we'll just have to go from there. Any comments on Sakurai-san? Godspeed. Yeah. Do you... Do, do you are you fond of this voice actor in the first place? He can scream. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure. Like some of these um characters that he voiced really like has a scream or a, like a like a yell like you just going like how are you still being be able to talk right now? Yeah. Yeah, especially you got how many takes you got to do, right? So mm -hmm. Pretty crazy. These voice actors, man, they go through uh shit. They go they go they go through a lot of stuff, man, when you're recording. Yeah, just like um Bo uh Goku. Goku. Goku, yeah. Or anyone in, in Dragon Ball yeah, when they're growing up. Why well, so Goku fucking he admitted he fainted in one of the takes. Yeah, it's Sean Chimmel, right? Yeah. Yeah, Sean Chimmel. He he was like I think it was when they first did the re um recording for uh SS3. Uh -huh. um, and he says I he said that he just fainted on like the twentieth take because you know screaming so much and then all of a sudden doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh <laughs> person down yeah, Goku's yeah. down and, and every android in the world going like <laughs> yeah um it is disappointing definitely uh kind of like with Helena Taylor but with Sakurai uh Takahiro Sakurai it's like yeah all, it also is disappointing too to uh to a notable degree mm. you know people it, it, it definitely like um sorry to backtrack on that story with Helena Taylor but like um you know, it's like that feeling when, uh, when, well, I guess here too, but it's like when, you know, I hear stories about like people meeting their favorite uh, basketball players and then those basketball players are like complete assholes to them, you know? Yeah. It's, it's, it's like that, um, what is it? Uh, that old saying, uh, never meet your heroes. Yeah. Yes, exactly. I was going to bring that up, you know, with, from the Incredibles, right? Like, <laughs> Um, with uh, Buddy, right? <clears throat> Never meet your heroes. You it's... mean Syndra? Yeah, yeah. The name's Syndra. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I mean, it's who, who also broke the um cardinal rule. Yeah. No capes. No capes. <laughs> yep. No capes. There's a lot. There's a lot of good stuff to come come out that came out from that movie alone. But anyway, yes. Uh, Never Meet Your Heroes is a pretty good, uh, pretty good saying in this one, right? Like, just kind of just like them from far away, you know what I mean? Like, just like their art. That's all you need to do. I mean, I mean, not of course, not everyone's an asshole, right? I mean, that's not you know, yeah. hu humans are humans, right? I mean, we're all different. We're like snowflakes, right? So what you're a human? <laughs> yeah, I'm, you know, I. I I, 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 actually, I thought you were a Pokemon. No, I actually come from Earth 458, you know, but I just landed here because uh, I was bored, you know, so I was already tired of... I'm just from uh, the Lust Ring. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, wow, you're from a different universe? I'm just from the Lust Ring. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyways, hopefully, I mean, we'll just have to see, right, whether things work out or not yep. for this voice actor. Right, so mm -hmm. we'll have to see what happens with Cloud. I'm sure. I'm. I'm. I'm sure Cloud or uh, uh, seven. Uh, what was it called? <laughs> it's, it's not called remake, but it's a re rebirth. No, I know. Yes. <laughs> Anyways, remake two. Remake remake two. 
Um, I'm sure we'll have him still, but by the third game, yeah. that's where um, things will be will probably be different. Yeah. Um, you know, who who will replace Cloud? Um, that's a separate discussion, I guess. But I think there's like at least several the voice actors who can pull off that voice anyway so that alone is okay but it's like the acting right the 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 nuances that always kind of um that's the trickiest part you know because everyone has their own little like thing you know right you know that's why each voice actor is is you know iconic in their own right right or each actor i should say in general is iconic in their own right because they're because mm -hmm. of the the little things that they do right that all that all add up to like their all their overall sort of resume and stuff like that it's not just their voice it's not just their their actions right in the movie for mm -hmm. example it's everything else too nicholas cage right you know for example right i mean you know he's got a shtick and everything right but you know, no one else can be like Nicolas Cage, no matter how much, how much, how much good of an impression they can do. It ain't the same, no matter what. Especially with, uh, um, Goku's voice actors, right? I mean, what, you know, if she ever retires or whatever, I mean, if anyone tries to replace Goku, man, it ain't going to be the same at all, man. Cause the voice and the acting chops, even if. And even, and there are, I've seen, I've seen a uh, few Japanese like comedians or impressionists do, um, Goku's voice and they, yeah, they, they nail it, but it's just like, they, they only do one line, right? So we don't know how long they can keep that up or maintain that with a longer line or monologue or whatever, or scene, I should say, um, you know. This is a lot of things to take away from 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 acting in general, really. But yeah. Anyway, uh, I think we went on a little uh, long enough for this situation for this uh, bit of news. Just sucks. So I can say, really. All right. Uh, this is a bit of a shout out. This is something a little different. So I don't know if you've heard of this uh, particular company. It's called Disco Tech Media. Disco Tech. Uh, did a big fucking thread. It's kind of hard to see, but... Um... They made a lot of announcements, so... So, Disco Tech does a lot of Blu-rays for, like, a lot of Japanese stuff in particular, I think. From what it looks like. And they even do, like, this stuff, too. Like, um, Kamen Rider Black. Um, pretty classic. And they put them on, uh, Blu-rays with remastered video, new brand, uh... Uh, new subtitles, or whatever. Um, a ton of stuff. And let me see. They also do, I guess, dubbing stuff too. But, um, in particular, oh, it's just a <laughs> different tweet. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that. It was just an alligator with a capybara on top. But anyway, um, you, I think you missed it. Anyway, so it's, it's fine. Um, oh, there it is. <laughs> so random. <laughs> Wee. Yep. It's just a random tweet. It just says more tweets. It has nothing to do with the thing. But, uh, they had a long, really long thread. I felt like I had it, but it looks like it's not here. Uh, but yeah, anyway, you can kind of see, like, what they're going with it. Like, there's a bunch of Blu-rays of old stuff. Um... Project Echo. Uh, Treasure Island, it's called. Classic, um, thing. And, oh, yeah, they do, they do, like, live action stuff, too. Like, GoGo13. Um, live action right here. It was, like, a long time ago. So, they put the English subtitle right here. Uh, audio, like, restored audio, stuff like that. Uh, seems like you do a lot of good stuff. Um. 
Yeah, this is Moto no K. Or is this a. Oh, I think so. I think what they do is uh, they take this English dub from what is already there. And they, they like they like restore it or they um and do their magic, right? They clean it up, you know, to a Blu-ray. So that's actually really cool. So they're, they're pretty much a, a Blu-ray company. They like restore it, slap it onto the disc, clean everything, right? Oh, but they also seems like they do they do their dubbing too? Okay, hold on. Seems like it. Cause they even got a uh, oh wow, they even got Chris uh Chris Sabat in there. He's usually for Funimation, but they got a uh, Chris Sabat in there. That's kinda cool. Oh, there we go. This is a thread right here. Jesus. Okay, so I wanted to show you this thread, Zawa, because there's a lot of stuff. Okay, so I guess we'll go from here. So yeah, you got the got Common Rider Black. Um Old anime right here. Yeah, Gunbuster right here too. It's like very fan service -y classic anime. <laughs> um <laughs> fan service. <-y. laughs> That's the And look at this one. Ultimate muscle. Right? Classic. Yeah, you got the dubbing right there. Foxbox, Morning Favor comes to uh, standard definition uh, Blu-ray. All 77 episodes in English. Other extras features uh, to be uh, determined. Uh, Saint Tail. Okay, there, there goes my gray hairs popping out again. Damn! Look at this! Look at this opening right here, man. That's that's, that's some classic right here. Some classic anime. Yep, Saint Tail. Uh, oh yes, Ghost Stories. <laughs> yes. Is it the bad English version or the proper one? Uh, well, it just says oh, plus the classic parody dubbed version from eighty eighty DV films. So there you go. They know. They know. They they, they know what they're doing. Still can't believe there was that one scene. It's one of the kids on that cup. Oh, okay. Um, I think he was yelling at the kid in the cap, the uh -huh. one with the green jacket. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the kid, kid was like running, and you know, when you haven't run in a while, you know, you, you're heaving and puffing, right? The kid in the green just yells out, run like a black man's chasing you. And then all of a sudden, it was like that. I was like, whoa. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> this is not real. Yeah. But, you know, that's like the there, double take. Like, There is a story behind the production, but I forget how it went. Like, I think they were, they just weren't given a script for some reason. And they're yeah. just like, yep. They weren't getting, getting. There was no um translation on the script. There yeah. was nothing. It was pretty much say whatever. Yep, say whatever. Yeah, so they have, have fun. You know, they have ghost stories, of course, Fist of the North Star, uh, Legend of the True Savior, um Mononoke, like we saw Tesis Gene 28. Very old, very old anime. Um Hmm. Oh, another. Another. It's in the, this is a film called Another. Uh, another is a horror. Sus it's like a horror of um, suspense anime. Oh, okay. Horror suspense, light novel, turn into anime, turn into live action. Ah, okay, okay. And we just saw a Gogo 13 live action movie. That was from 1973. Goddamn. And then. Yeah, we saw that one. Digimon, of course, of course. Right? Original classic. Let me see. In its original language, 54 episodes, same Astro Res treatment as our English uh language release. In Japanese with English subtitles. Um 
they have like exclusive translators it seems like and coming later for 2023 i'm kind of tempted to pick this up man i'm um i'm kind of tempted uh there's also oh there's like new stuff too like you know konosuba uh but this one oh my god this one sayuki reload oh my goodness this is a this is a old another old ass one Yelzebub. Tales of Fantasia. Um, they got a random sword. Oh man, use Uruse Yatsura. All it, uh, is that Symphony Gear? Yeah, Sinful Gear. And uh, there's one called Shogun uh, Samurai or Shogun Samurai. I don't know why she's coming back. Who? The remake. Oh yeah, there's or a remake whatever. of Uruse Yatsura. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, why is she coming back? No one knows her. Only like that's why they, they, they gotta make her known. I mean, it's a classic, right? I mean, it's it's a classic character. It, it's a classic, but still, it's like same. No one knows you. Yeah, same. Unless you're born like within the '90s. Yeah, like, that's your last. Same like, creator as um, Inuyasha, so yeah, along with uh, Ramna Half. Like I, I want Ragma to, yeah, you know, have a recirculation. Oh God, Gaiven, the original Gaiven. Yeah, you got Gaiven, uh, Devilman. Yep, Lupin. One of the Lupin movies. Yep, they got all kinds of stuff. Oh, I think that's the that's the movie where um, fuck, what's her name? His love interest. For Lupin or this was the no of Lupin, oh, okay. his love interest. What's her what's her name again? It's oh, been I, years. I don't know. I don't remember. I think this is the movie that she was tied up on a plane and then she was just running and kicking people's asses oh. with just her panties on. Oh, you mean Fujiko, right? Fu there you go. Yeah, yeah Fujiko. Fujiko. Okay, yeah, you're talking I about think, the original love is... interest. Okay, okay. Yeah, I okay. think this is this is the movie where she's Doing oh, that, scene. that whole sequence. Running. Yeah, the whole sequence. Yeah, okay, okay. and she's just kicking, she's kicking the guys, all the henchmen's asses while she's just wearing like a bra and panties. And yeah, handcuffed. And I'm yeah. like, yeah, yep. It's like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No wonder he likes you. Yep. <laughs> oh, there's more. Uh, there she is. More you say yes yep. again. Yep. Oh, Sherlock Holmes. Yep, Sherlock Holmes. Okay. Uh, more Symphon Gear, Symphono oh, Gear. God, cat's eye. Cat's eye. Oh, so there's a Symphonia of the anime? Uh, I'm, I'm all for it. <laughs> oh, look at this. Entire page full of Urusei Yatsura. Jesus. <laughs> My brother in Christ. <laughs> yep. Uh, more Digimon right here. Female Yakuza Tail and more Lupin. Yeah, this, this company just does all kinds of stuff. Uh, point being... Um, I don't know why they don't include all this thread, but uh, there was one with a uh, Sonic, a uh, Sonic X. Oh, I guess I'll just bring it up somewhere. Let me see if I can do that. It might be just on here. I'll just click here. But anyway, yeah, it, it's they do all kinds of stuff, and uh, I I just thought, hey, should talk about them mention them see what they do and stuff like that um yeah cuz uh they do like all kinds of stuff like they do the the widescreen and 43 whatever you know they just restore it you know to the original format or enhance it oh there you go right here sonic x so this is my this is my up my alley right here so they had the Japanese with English subtitles. They even have the uh, the stuff from the high spec DVDs, as well as 2.0 mixes. Massively restored video, least amount of seizure editing ever. Restor restoration ended up sourcing the best best possible video. Newly revised subtitles based on original Hulu subtitles. Translations fixed, signs added, commercial bumpers all translated, and all the NEPs are now translated too. Creditless opening and ending sequences plus Japanese and English pilot episodes. Uh, and it is coming in winter 2023. So actually, this is a long ways away. 
But uh, for anyone who loved Sonic X, this is probably like the best Blu-ray coming in, right? So, uh, so yeah, Disco Media, man, is I think they're a pretty cool company. I'll follow them, in fact, for more stuff. But uh, yeah, I just thought I talked about them at least once here, you know, do all kinds of cool stuff. I mean, I've have not thought of buying any Blu-ray anime Blu-ray in a long ass time, but maybe with this at least. I'll pick it up. When was the last time you picked up anything like Blu-ray? For anything. <laughs> Besides Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hmm. Like, an I guess, gravitating more towards anime. anime. Yeah. Well, anime and uh, any other Blu-ray? Let's see. Let's see what she's in my little pocket. Yep. I mean, not anime related, but Tokusatsu. Nice. Okay. Coming right up. And then, yeah. <laughs> Digimon Try and. Oh, okay, okay. Digimon yeah, Adventure. Adventure. Nice. Nice. When did you, uh, when did you get those? Birthday gift from boyfriend. Uh huh. This was a Valentine Valentine's Day present, but I don't remember. And this I bought when once it was you know out to buy. Mm -hmm. Not even in this. Ten eighty p. Oh, that's the. 1080p. <laughs> yep. Oh, look at this. You recognize Jesus this? Jesus Christ. Go Geiger? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Play its theme song. It's going to be very annoying, very quick. <laughs> yep. Yeah, they do all kinds of stuff, man. Seems really cool. Oh, they're gonna do Shaman King? Oh, that's sick. Oh, I want that. Tour. Oh, yeah, that's for early next year. That's awesome. Oh, they did, they did done, yeah. City. They're gonna do City Hunter, the anime for Virtual Fighter, Dino Mech Guy King. Kind of make, kind of looks uh, very familiar, too. And yeah, Tessa Gene, of course. That's a classic. So, yep. Yeah. Damn, man. That's actually pretty cool. So, yep. Um, I'll definitely keep an eye out for them whenever I want to see, uh, want to consider getting a Blu ray from them for old ass anime. Mm -hmm. What about you? What, was, there, was there anything from that particular company you want to grab? I don't know. No, there, there wasn't. No. No, no. Hmm. No, no. They, they all suck. Yeah. No, nothing, nothing, nothing. Um, you know, spoke to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. like not, not, uh, not Digimon or Common Rider. Yeah. <laughs> the fuck I do. Yeah, fuck I do. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Let's get on to uh, the streaming stuff. Streaming series. Uh oh. Uh oh. That uh, page is gone. <laughs> uh oh. Well, I'm pretty sure the IGN one is here. So the release date has been announced for uh, Sonic Prime on Netflix, which is December 15, 2022. So it is this year. So I do have something to do in December besides Bayonetta. <laughs> um, so uh, they also release these posters, I guess, with uh, IGN. Unlike uh, that tweet. I guess IGN wanted that... Uh, that credit, I guess. Anyway, so mm -hmm. uh, Sonic Prime, you got you got these posters right here. So you got one with Sonic, and 
Next up is Knuckles right here. You can kind of see that you know what they're going with. It. You know, you remember the fur that they're trying to like emulate? It's that weird texture thing. Yeah. Yep. They're incorporating that with Knuckles. Even oh wow, his chest or whatever the mark on his chest, the crescent moon or whatever, has also like that fur texture thing going on. It's kind of weird. Usually it's just like a mark. There's no like fur detail on it, but hey, I mean something it's a little different, I guess. You even got Amy right here, who also has that fur detail. Pretty much Amy though. Amy Rose, more or less, because she got the hammer and everything. Yeah. Tails is Tails. Yep. Where where's my uh um where's my boy? Where's Vex? Be I mean not Vex <laughs> Vector? Yeah, where's my Vector? Oh, uh, I, I don't know. He'll, he'll probably appear in Season 2 or something. But, uh, there's I'm Doctor... Ben. I'm not watching. I'm not watching then. <laughs> Doctor Eggman, of course. Looks like Doctor Eggman. With some differences in his, uh, outfit. Like, the lines and stuff like that. I miss my wife, Tails. Yep. <laughs> I miss her a lot. We got Big. I'm gonna go. Even Big is making an appearance. Wow. Look at that. With Froggy. Shadow, of course. The fourth boyfriend. Yeah, pretty much. And we got Rouge in a completely... Salute. Yeah. <laughs> Salute. <laughs> Salute. Yeah. In a completely different outfit. She's re less revealing. She's, um... What's the... What's that word? Um, sensitivity. Censored. Conservative. Not, not. Yeah, she's very conservative now. Everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She learned. She learned her ways. She learned her ways. Did she really? Why well, still have like a beach episode or something? <laughs> that. It's just sad that it, mostly like every um, anime nowadays, a lot of people wait for the beach episode. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> For sure. I want that fan service, man. That's what it is. So, yep. Rouge is in the mix as well. I think this is the first time they've revealed Rouge. I did not. I do not think they have any video on her. So, this is definitely a first here. Uh, so, yep. That's all they have, I believe. Let me just go and make sure they. that's what they revealed. Oh, there's Snap. <laughs> there you go. I will snap, as you said, as you mentioned. More like Marvel clap. Yeah, and then fucking IGN, of course, talks about. Can him. you stop looking at them spoilers? Pretty soon you're gonna they're come like across right, like they're like right there though. Like yeah, but pretty soon you're gonna come across. Here's the ending to pay another three, and I'm gonna stare at you. <laughs> they're not gonna do that. Couple she too, she too niche, you. so you're you're fine. She too niche. <laughs> she it don't make 400, 450 million dollars, right? She don't she, she don't know how to write the email. She doesn't have a computer. Sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think that's what we wish in that case, <laughs> so that, that that it wouldn't happen. But anyway, yep. um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all the thread there, and yeah. I'm like you definitely look forward to December fifteenth. There is something to do. Um, so yeah. Uh I think this is also the first time we see Tails. I think Knuckles, yeah, this is a lot of first times, actually, now that I think about it. The only thing we have seen is just big Dr. Eggman, I think, and then Shadow. The rest of them are pretty new here, I believe. That is essentially it. Uh, any further comments for Sonic? Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, any further comments? On Sonic Prime? Nope. All right. We're good. We're good. Unless, uh, unless on what the last episode, they show Silver, and I'll be like, why? They're definitely gonna bring in Silver at some point. Pretty popular enough because of memes. Popular enough, and then they're gonna throw like this. Like this, like 
far left field like because it might not be can it this show is not canon to the game stuff yeah hi dad it's like <laughs> you just see everyone looking at sonic oh <laughs> actually no <laughs> <You make> a... <laughs> Right. That'd be pretty... Hi, Dad. And then he turns to, to Shadow. Hi, Dad. Like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you see every, like, fanfic people going like, it's canon. Right. They're drawing it. They're drawing it. <laughs> yep. It's like the whole, like, thing with Sanji and uh, Zoro. It's so big. I don't know why. Yep. Anyway. Uh, there is a weird crossover at the moment with uh, Simpsons and Death Note. I don't know what this is supposed to be. I don't know if it's like a um like an intro to like you know you know they always do those intros in Simpsons like they yeah. always do like the couch gag. There you go. That's what it was. I don't know. If it's supposed to be like the couch gag or whatever. Or this is like an actual like dedicated segment for the treehouse stuff um yeah it's um it's a treehouse um treehouse of horror segment okay okay so it's not just a but a couch gag or it's not a, it's not yeah it's not a throwaway gag it's actually like but you can see like damn they hired a good studio yeah because it's the same studio who did the original uh death note stuff the dr movie i think so it's pretty legit it looks pretty legit <laughs> Other than some, maybe like some background stuff, but like the characters look, um, like wow. <laughs> Lisa looks pretty good as an anime character. Homer, right here, looks a little weird. A, a little, a little, uh, a little too normal. You know what I'm saying? A little too on the nose. I just wish Marsh's hair was. Yeah, so... a little curly. Like this one's this too straight. Like, like a little more poofy, like a perm or something, you know what I mean? A little more afro-like, you know? I like that Homer is drinking sake, like a, a classy man. You know? Not just like beer, Asahi or whatever. Mar just kind of looks like a, just like any other anime mom with blue hair, you know? Again, they didn't, uh, they didn't, they didn't do the, the poofy thing, you know? The, that's that's Marge's character, right? Um wait what? Oh Oh yeah, because <laughs> the, the the smoke from the cigarettes. Yeah, they always smoke Marge's uh, sisters always smoke, so that's right. That's actually really funny. That's really funny. Alright, well. There's just a bit of a first look. So. Yeah, it's pretty neat. You know, obviously they can't say a death note, but it's death tome. But close enough. I like the uh, some of the, the side characters that they always have. Um, I think Disco Stu was his name. It was like on the back. Oh, hold on. Let me mute that. Oh, uh, let's see. Where is it? It was like right at the end too. Oh, there you go. Yeah, see, he sees Disco Stu right there. I think that's his name. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the side characters. I don't think any other side character has made their appearance from what I can visibly see. Well, I, I like the signs, you know, kind of funny. And then, yeah, all this stuff. Like the uh, the gender reveal uh, napalm thing is kind of funny. It's kind of like playing the, uh, on a news article where, um, what do you call it? Someone's gender reveal party pretty much like set the forest on fire or something like that. I think that's literally how like one of the big forest fires happened. Like no joke in California. So I was like playing upon that. So anyway, uh anything else you wanted to say? Pretty good. Pretty good, yeah. Pretty good.
All right, last one for the road. This is more like a shit post than anything, but it's pretty funny. So there's a picture from NZXT Twitter, and they got this from another person who bought the 4090, right? Well, that's what it looks like. And try to fit it in their case. And... <laughs> and it's like sticking it out. I mean, I'm, I wonder if it'll work. I think it'll work. It's just that it'll be clunky, yeah. but it'll work. Clunky, and then, but a lot of like owners of the 40 series are saying that it's burning wires. And yes, that's right. And stuff. That's right. Yeah. So it's it, it's like again, like it's my thing with stuff with like games or gaming um, systems. Technology. Or our technology in general. I was like, did you guys even stress test this, or did you guys just get just go like, chick, 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 go, be free, go, give us money, right, right, yeah, because it's only like one plug, right? Like the with these thing, <clears throat> things, it's supposed to be two, I think, right? So that way the power can yeah. manage a little easier, I think. But it's only one for a powerful car like yeah. that, so you think. Yeah, and they're saying that the power drain is like killing their system. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm like, like all these scalpers trying to get do the selling the 40 series is like, you know, with all the negative reviews, you ain't gonna get anyone buying these unless they're really desperate. Right, right. Not to mention the price too. On top of that, too. Yeah, like. I don't, I mean, I sometimes I don't understand these scalpers, man. Like, I get it. You're trying to make money, do your hustle and everything, but like, really, in their mind, is it really gonna work? You know what I mean? Do you think? Do they really think it's gonna work for most people? Like, only a few scalpers can make money. That's the thing. Cause it's like, there's so many. Other, unfortunately, there's so many other scalpers trying to get the same thing, sell it, you know, and then. What happens, I think, is that people just keep lowering the price in hopes of catching people's eye and it'll eventually just go back to normal. You know, because the demand is not there anymore. So they got to like n eventually normalize it to the closest to the MSRP and then that's it. But on the other, on the mm. other side, you think that companies that by now or um, those retail stores would learn to how to fight the robot, uh, the, not boat. The scalpers, right? I wonder if they scalpers just use the same bot to buy it for them, you know? You think they would do something about it, but people are still mm -hmm. scalping. Sucks. For, for, for people who want the 40 series, I don't need it because I got the 3 series now. And I'm not going to play, I, I'm not in need of playing any games that require a 4090. It's too powerful for my needs. But, you know, if you're in the industry, right, to capture games or make games or not make games, but like, you know, like 3D stuff, you know, um, and yeah, I guess industrial stuff. But other than that, you know, mm -hmm. it's really pretty much not for the average person, uh, I'd say, unless you're that hardcore into PCs and stuff like that, then OK, sure. But you're more likely not going to be using all that horsepower from the GPU. Because, yeah, I don't think any game is, like, requiring that. Now, granted, the, the, the minimum is starting to go up because um, I think James was playing uh, Gotham Knights. And the the minimum for that is the, 10, the 1080 now. So, the minimum is going up. But the ceiling is mm -hmm. uh, ain't that much higher, I don't think. Uh, any, any, anything you wanted to? No. Yeah. Nope. I'm still gonna hold out for my um, ten uh, oh, thirty seventy. Yeah. Thirty seventy. Yep. To which let 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 me check how much the price is, kids. Let let's do a price check. Price check. Yeah, I do want to be careful because uh, because the forty nineties are being scalped. People are gonna try to buy the thirties, and then of course the scalper is gonna. Track that and buy the thirties, right? So, yeah, it's a, it's a 
Never ending cycle. Yeah. That's why. That's all I thought about. I was like, uh, should I just get this 3060 Ti now and then just don't care about Black Friday at that point? And yeah, it looks like I made the right call in a way. Mm -hmm. I, I already paid off my card, by the way. I already paid off my GPU. So I'm, I'm good. He paid it off with his only fans, which you can find out here. Yes, that's what definitely happened. Anyway, how much is yeah? How much is oh, it, that? It's still sticking in the realm of um six hundred, so I'm good. Okay. Well, aren't um well those well MSRP is five hundred though, isn't it? I guess it depends on what yeah. you buy it from. Like, so are you buying it yeah. from EVGA mm -hmm. or is it a gigabyte or Newegg? I'm going straight from Newegg. I know, but no, 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 but I'm talking about like the the company. Oh, the brand. The brand. The brand? Or oh, yeah. Uh, e EVGA. Oh, okay, yeah, because those EVGA is a little more expensive. Yeah. And then the uh, the one from Nvidia themselves, that's five hundred bucks. Mm -hmm. Back to beyond. Yep. But yeah, overall, you just see this fucking 4090 sticking out of this case. <laughs> yeah, this, this fucking, like, brick. Yeah, they're huge, though, man. It's, that's that's really something, right? Because, like, I think this looks like a... This looks like a mid-tower, right? That's what I have. And if that's the case, like, Jesus, man. Good thing I didn't... This wasn't uh, foolish enough to try to get me a 4090. Somehow. Mm -hmm. Well, ain't that a B? <laughs> Gotta get a bigger case. That means I might as well get a new PC, right? So, shit. All like that. Need a new motherboard, new processor and everything. Man. Ain't that a B? Well, that's all I got. I don't know if you have anything else to... Uh, toss in before we uh hit the old dusty trail how much money do i have left to try and do another pool by the way um i did get another mysterious heroin x x with tickets <laughs> did you just try try to pull right now not right now actually uh i did that like 30 minutes ago Wait, it was when you were talking about something. I uh, got kind of snuck in the tickets in there, and I got a mysterious hand one X. The gotcha in me is still alive. <laughs> this, mo this motherfucker gets off my case. <laughs> hey, you say you spend eighty bucks. I didn't spend anything. That's the thing. I make a limit. <laughs> he still he still spent money though. Now to be fair, I am gonna be spending my money on the Genshin Impact. Uh pretty soon. You know what's funny? I think this episode is gonna be on Halloween. So uh with that. Uh we should said that in the beginning, but hopefully we have, everyone has a ho good Halloween. So, Halloween on the Monday. Ain't that something. Uh, yeah. I wonder I wonder if people are going to be trick-or-treating again. I don't know, man. It's probably just going to be two people or two parties again. Because, yeah, I don't know. I, I, don't, know if, I don't know if people care enough anymore for just to get candy. Because, like, it's expensive to get candy now with the inflation stuff. Mm -hmm. And then, I don't know, if you, do people want to, like, go out, get some candy when kids are already, like, playing video games and shit nowadays, staying indoors, playing video games and Fortnite and all that stuff? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway, we'll hit the old dusty trail. That's it from us, and thank you very much. Like I said... Hope everyone has a good Halloween, safe Halloween, all that stuff. No less. And uh, we'll hopefully be back for more of the stuff to talk about. So until then, we'll see you all in next video. Bye-bye. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, more, more gotcha. <laughs> no, I, 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 I stick to my um, stuff.
eighty dollars in the first week. Ah, if I don't get it, then I wait for like the last week. Oh, so okay, I see. I only spend money when there's a top-up bonus, and you only spend you coins you have the bonus once. So that's my limit. <laughs> All right. That's my candy. <laughs> 